nice lake on the right. I don't know which lake it is. If anybody out there knows, let me know. I'm on, uh, I believe, Highway 7, heading south. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I'm on Highway 22, and my current direction is south. I was going to mention, uh, my youngest son, Andrew, is uh, graduating high school. Today is his uh, graduation ceremony, and I feel really bad that I can't be there. I hope he understands. I'm trying to get out of Canada and back in the U.S. I got some home time coming. Um, but anyway, I wanted to wish him all the best. And uh, Lil and I, his mom and I, are very proud of him. He's done real well in school, and uh, you know he's got some awards for uh, debate and everything else, and uh, he's graduating, so we're real happy. So they're going to have a ceremony tonight, and then, and then uh, they're going to have a little family get-together tonight. And uh, I, like I said, I really wish I could be there. That's It's really killing me that I can't be there. But... Uh, but I'm with, I'm with everyone in spirit. I'm with Andrew in spirit. I told him that last night on the phone. And uh, I'll be there soon and we'll, we'll have another little party when I get home. So, just want to wish him the best. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's going to be going to Fresno State there in California. And um, real proud of him for that. And... Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not too sure exactly what he wants to major in. I'm not too sure if he knows. But um, whatever it is, I'm sure he'll do well. So just wanted to throw that out there and uh, wish him all the best. Watch your speed uh, through here. These hills are real deceiving. Sometimes you don't even know you're going downhill. All of a sudden you look down and you're going way too fast. Now we got to slow down to 80 kilometers per hour, which is about 50 miles an hour. 48, something like that. Going through a little town up here in the mountains. Kind of reminds me of uh, Squaw Valley a little bit. Except the mountains are a little bigger. Let me know. Okay, we're definitely starting to climb now, getting getting up into the hills a little more. Sixty miles to go 
until I get to Spokane, so who knows what I'm going to run into. But, uh, as for right now, it's been a nice road, so I'm glad about that. It's pretty windy here. Right now, anyway. Definitely a both hands on the wheel kind of a win. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of uh, driving in to Yosemite on Highway. Was it 140? Got the river on the side, and yeah, it's kind of similar anyway. The roads are really good up here. Uh, you know, once in a while you hit some construction, but for the most part, they're real smooth and they're nice to drive. That's good. So the winter time is another story. So uh, to all you Canadians out there, uh, give me a message or, or you know write down in the comments uh, what what you think is the most beautiful part of Canada. Because I've only seen uh, parts of British Columbia and this little part of Alberta. But if you uh, if you have another place that you think is a lot more uh, beautiful, let me know. Write it down in the comments and then I'll check it out. Hopefully I'll get sent, sent up or down that way or up that way. That would be cool. So let me know, what is your favorite part of Canada? I'd be interested to find out. Right now I'm on Highway 3. I'm heading towards Cranbrook. I'm about 80 miles away from Cranbrook. Well, the road's a little bit narrow, but you know, we're up in the mountains, so it's to be expected. Definitely some nice scenery on this road. 